Hello, hello. hello. Welcome, everybody. I have a snow day, so I decided to make a few videos. I don't have a whole lot of time for it, though, because i got to plan some romantic stuff for my girlfriend for when she gets home. And I have chores to do. But I figured I'd make a couple videos. Obviously, I'm going to get to making my analysis of, I think I'm on Exodus 16 now, getting right through it. But the other night, my girlfriend, she convinced me to uh, watch a documentary on Netflix with her. Once again, I got to do a little review for it. Got to get off my chest. My last video on Netflix, The Family, had by far my most views, which kind of stinks because I want my Bible ones to have the most views. And I'm not doing this for views. I just got to get this off my chest. So this movie, Heal, it's actually pretty good. It's a good uh, <clears throat> message it puts out there that... It's mind over matter, something that anyone who, you know, was ever in sports growing up, you heard that tons of times. And I grew up doing sports like, uh, I mean, I did all sports, but the main ones I got into in high school were cross country and track and also basketball. But especially in cross country and things like wrestling, uh, sports like that, you really learn the essence of mind over matter. You know, when your body's telling you that you can't run anymore, but your mind saying, no, keep going. You can defeat these demons, and you, it actually really helps you with your dis self-discipline, helps you with your uh, self-control, and it shows you that you can accomplish things that you're, you don't think are possible. You know, I remember the first time I broke 18 minutes in a cross-country race, and I did the math on it, and I thought, that's impossible. Because, you know, at the time, the fastest mile I'd ever ran was like a four- 50 I think you know so to run three consecutive sub six minute miles you know it, it, I was like wow this is incredible mind over matter and the whole documentary it's talking about how we can heal ourselves and the modern medicine isn't doing enough to address the issues and there's some great stories in there about people who you know just focus their mind and were able to heal themselves by focusing that energy Great. Now, there's a certain South Park episode where Stan turns 11 or something, 10 or 11, I don't know, and he becomes what's known as a cynical asshole. <laughs> Sorry for my French there. But basically, he's able to see that all the negative or all the bad or all the dumb stuff in the world, and, you know, movies aren't the same form, nothing's the same form. And that's kind of the way my girlfriend says that I am about most things in the world and I'm not nihilistic at all I'm a Christian I'm not depressing you know we obviously have a lot of fun together I'm always in an upbeat mood but I see the things that a lot of people are just like shut up and enjoy the movie or shut up and enjoy it you know it's kind of like the people who know symbolism and, and know like what the Illuminati's up to or whatever the secret organizations it's hard for them to watch TV, but it's really, you got to take a step back and calm down because the only people who notice the symbolism are the crazy Illuminati people and the studied and knowing Christians. Most people don't even see it, don't care. It doesn't mean anything to them. It, but I see things and I can't help but saying them. I had to pause the movie about five, six times so we could have discussions throughout it. And one thing I said at the very beginning was you wait, you watch this, babe. They're not going to be able to say the name of Jesus in this whole film. They're going to talk so much about healing and self-healing and how medicine uh, isn't all what's cracked up to me and we can heal ourselves. And not, and they'll have Buddhists and they'll have Hindu and they'll have all these people on here, chakras, whatever. And they, But not once will they have a Christian. I mean, people on there were Christians, I, I could tell, and I kind of looked it up. But never once will they have a Christian healer on there talking about Christ's power of healing. Now once will they talk about the power of prayer? Now granted, I stopped watching with like 30 minutes left because I were tired, so maybe they did at the end. But it was very ironic that I said this in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes in to the movie. They, you know, they're not saying anything about Jesus, of course. From the mouth of babes comes wisdom. This woman's daughter is the only one in the movie who says Jesus. She's like, Jesus, take my mommy's sores away, and I pray every night that it happens. I was like, yeah, yeah, mm, you know. <laughs> I just kept repeating, I'm like, from the mouth of babes. 
Of course it comes from a child. You can't stop the child. And of course the crazy, stupid Illuminati. And if you don't think they exist, you're just kidding yourself. And if you don't think that Netflix is staunch deep in it, you're kidding yourselves. Uh, but whatever. And it's just funny because in their eyes, you know they're thinking, ha, 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 only a we'll let it slide because it's a child and everyone knows children are stupid. But really, that's the only intelligent one on there because everyone else on there is just a charlatan. They're taking credit for what Jesus could do. So understand this. There were charlatans and wizards and uh, sorcerers or whatever all throughout all history who could do things like this. You know, they can heal their own body or they can heal your body. The problem is it's a lesser magic. It still works, but it's a lesser magic because it's not giving the glory and the power back to God, the creator, Christ. If you heal someone, you're like, yeah, I healed you. It wasn't me. It was Christ who healed you through me. It was Christ. That's wonderful. But as soon as you start saying that I healed myself or that I'm healing others, it feeds your ego and it becomes a kind of poisonous type of uh, essence. Take something beautiful and makes it corrupt. I'm a big novel, fantasy novel guy. If you've ever read the Wheel of Time novels by Robert Jordan, then this will make sense to you. You know, there's the male and the female half of the magic source in these books. And only, obviously, a female can use one, male can use one. You know, so they're not, they're not appropriate today with our non-gender roles and everything. But anyway, the male half had been tainted. So is this wonderful, terrible feeling is this it's like uh, oil on top of water is how it's described often just a taint to this wonderful essence of you know the most pure water you and you as you're just dying of thirst but on top of it there's this disgusting vile film and you can always slightly taste that and that's what this charlatan type magic is when you think you're healing yourself and you don't give the glory to god you might heal yourself but now you're feeding your vain ego, and it becomes a poison. You might be physically healthy now, and now you might be famous, but you're not spiritually whole. Because you're always having to feed that self more. It's me. I did it. I did it. Me. Me. Never giving the glory back to God. It's a lesser magic. And this stuff exists. God made it so that we could heal ourselves. But when you take the credit for yourself and don't give it back to God and his divine glory when he made our bodies and made our minds so that they could be powerful enough to direct our bodies. When you say it is me and you don't give it to God, you're a charlatan. You're a wizard. Ironically, there's a literal wizard in the movie, a neuroacoustic wizard. who uh, Apparently, I like to look it up. Obviously, acoustic, they use sound waves to heal people. But his literal title owen benjamin if he ever sees this is gonna have a field day with it is a neuroacoustic wizard he his title is a wizard and of course this is all they're doing they're trying to sell their way of healing they're no different than the pharmaceutical companies or the doctors they're selling you a fake a fraudulent a lesser known will medicine make you feel better yes will it heal you no can you use mind over matter practices and sound wave techniques and all this stuff to heal yourself? Yes. Will it really spiritually heal you if you don't give that glory over to God when the healing is done and you, t and you just say it's all about you? No, it won't heal you, heal you spiritually. It will corrupt you spiritually because it's a lesser magic. It's a corruption. It's a counterfeit. Just like pharmaceutical drugs will take away your symptoms but not actually heal you. Same with this stuff. When the, the whole movie, when they're talking about it, not once do they mention it. It reminds me so much of the show on History Channel, Ancient Aliens. You know, why on earth did Ancient Aliens uh, back out and not want Steve Quayle to be on there? Everything he's saying is almost identical to these Ancient Alien guys. He's just using the Bible to explain it and explaining it with angels and demons and fallen angels versus aliens. But they didn't want him on there. Can't even say it. You can't say the Bible. You can't say the name of God unless you're doing it in a somewhat mocking way or in a somewhat disingenuous way. It's the only way that these people who have taken, as Owen Benjamin says, the ticket, it's the only way that they can say it. So Steve Quayle, Timothy Alberino, Tom Horn, uh, even Graham Hancock, who isn't religious, but 
he had uh, ancient civilization viewpoints of ancient aliens. They rejected it. So they didn't want opposing views. They just wanted strictly ancient aliens because they had an agenda. This heel, same thing. All these healers. You know how many scientific studies and evidence and proof have been done on the power of prayer? You know how many people, and I'm not talking about, again, more charlatans within some churches who you know lay hands upon you and heal you, but then they make a bunch of money on people coming to them. I'm not talking about them, but I'm talking about there are literal people in the Christian faith who can use the power of Christ to heal people. And they take you don't hear about them because they're doing it the right way. They're not taking the glory for themselves. They're not trying to become famous. That's why you don't hear about them, because they're doing it God's way. They're healing it and moving on and letting people know that it was Christ that healed them. So they go out and they proclaim that Christ healed them. So they don't go and say, Sam Thompson healed me. No, it's God. It's Christ. That's the, what the true healers will do. And there's so many accounts of this. So many studies have been done for the power of prayer that it's in. It's completely not even a debate that the prayer works. But they don't talk about it. They will only talk about, you know, these spiritual gurus who will, you know, get you in a stance or a state of mind to focus on yourself and focus on the spinal cord and where it needs to be healed. All great, but they leave out the essential truth of Christ every single time. They just leave it on out. There's a story, no joke, this spiritual medium who apparently, you know, is a medium can talk to spirits and he uses his ability to talk to spirits to heal you or to tell you what's wrong. First off, he got it flat wrong when he told the man, he's like, oh, 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 you have lower back issues. She's like, no. Well, this spiritual medium says the first time he remembers it really coming to fruition is he felt the spirit upon him and his spirit told him to go to his grandmother and lay his hands on her chest and then the spirit told him to tell her that she had lung cancer and he did it and a week later and his evidence that it works is a week later she went to the doctor and she was diagnosed with lung cancer both my girlfriend and i look at her we're like dude she probably he probably gave her lung cancer it was probably a demon, like, ha, 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 tell her she's got lung cancer. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I mean, why would you do that? What? <laughs> you're listening to a spirit. You're not, you're not even admitting it's God. So you, you, you clearly, you know, you think or don't think it's God. It's just a spirit that's telling you to tell your grandmother who hasn't been diagnosed and hasn't been feeling sick that she has lung cancer. And then she gets diagnosed with lung cancer. Dude. You just got taken trolled by a demon, and he used you to give your grandma lung cancer. I mean, if you're not aware of that, you need to re look up on what spirits that talk to us are really trying to do, typically. The whole point is, in a lot of these documentaries, they want, they'll want they always give you a partial truth. They'll give you a somewhat truth. You got to understand, they're throwing you a little bit through a keyhole. Instead of just giving you the whole truth, they want to give you a little bit. Tidbit, tidbit, tidbit. Because then they can control you. Because you'll trust a person who gives you the truth. And if you're not aware that it's not the whole truth, then why not? I used to do this when I was a teenager with my parents. You know, my mom often makes the comment that, you know, James would never lie to us. She would be very specific with the questions you asked, I came to learn. Because that's how you, you do it. You know, your mom asked, what are you doing? I was hanging out with Jimmy and Evan. What are you guys doing? I oh, was just playing cards. You know, you don't tell them that the card game was, you know, Texas Hold'em and you lost $200. Or, you know, oh, what were you doing? Oh, uh, you know, me and my girlfriend uh, were hanging out. What were you doing? Oh, we just watched a movie. You don't tell them that that included some physicality during the movie. You, leave, you give them the truth, you know, but you don't give them the whole truth. This is what teenagers do with their parents. And this is what, and your parent, and you can manipulate your parents to think that you're the most trustworthy, amazing child on the planet. And many parents fall for it. And the same thing is true with people. You give them a little bit of truth that you can use your mind and you can use your focus, which is meditation and prayer, to heal your body. What they don't say is that 
that ability comes from God, the creator. And in order to get the full benefit, you have to give the glory of it over to God, the creator. Don't be vain in thinking that it's on you, that you did it, or this guy that laid hands on you did it. It's God that did it. But they won't say that under the guise of we don't want to be offensive. But yet then they'll have, you know, Hindus and Buddhists on there telling them about, you know, what Buddha said about healing and all this stuff. But nothing about Christianity because they can't say it. They can't give you the full truth. They can't give you full freedom of, in Christ because then they can't control you. But if they give you a little bit of truth, enough for you to trust them, to keep going to them for truth, then they have you right where they want you. And I see this everywhere I look. And this heel documentary is no different. It's a great documentary uh, in just the average, if you, you're not like me where you get annoyed when you see all this stuff. If you just are a normal person, go ahead and watch it. I mean, it's great information. And it, a lot of it, like I said, it's true. You can, and I believe, and I've always believed this, you can mind over matter, heal your body in glorious ways. But what is that? It's prayer. It's focused prayer. Focused meditation. They won't say that it's prayer. They won't say that it's actually easier if you do it with the trust and faith in God when you do it. No, no, no. They want you to think you're doing it on your own without any help from a divine creator so that you keep coming to them for the truth instead of knowing that God, Christ, is the truth. Ah, uh, well... That's all there is to it. I had a bunch more information on the, uh, all the research they've done on the power of prayer, but maybe I'll do that in another video. One thing I will say is it's very interesting, they've, all the studies they've done, and it's cool because I'm very analytical. I want to know how they did the study, you know, what was the sample size, how, what were the variables, how did they change it up between the two. And one of the more interesting things that I found is that they noticed not only does prayer work, but prayer works when one group will share what their concerns are, a different group will come in the room and are told, be told to pray for the concerns of that other group, you know, whether it was their grandma's health or whatever. And then that they did, this group had high, you know, it, it affected. I mean, you can't say it affected, but the effects happened. Things happened. So the prayer of strangers for you helped, but they found the most beneficial, both spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally way to pray is when you pray for others. The benefit comes back to you tenfold. Just as the Bible says, when you pray in a selfless way for others, the benefits for you, the research shows, are even greater. And it's kind of this, what the Bible always says. Sacrifice. Put away the childish thoughts. Become a man. Think for others. Don't be selfish. Don't think for yourself. Think for others, and I will reward you tenfold. This is what we are told in the Bible, and people struggle to understand it and struggle to live by it because it goes against our material world. But that was so interesting that, again, science will often prove the Bible. It's just we won't hear about that science. We'll only hear this guy in a lab coat who's a neuroacoustic wizard <laughs> telling us about science. Or Bill Nye, you know. The great engineer. <laughs> all right. That's all I got to say. Check out the documentary. It's, again, a lot of cool information. And in just go in knowing that they're scared to talk about Jesus. They're scared to talk about the healing power of Christianity and the belief in God. And they'll only let you hear it from the mouth of babes. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, or good night. God bless.